to ignore what's written on this board. This was done for um, our structured ride stuff with Vinia Cycling Club, a little bit of background on it. We'll just ignore that. I need to like get rid of it. Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I really need to um, tell you about two two things, two two brands in particular that I've been very fortunate to link up with this year at the very least, and um, I'm very excited to to tell you to tell you who they are. But if you've been eagle-eyed the last week or so, you probably would have seen me uh, at least wearing either a piece of their kit or at least wearing the helmet. Teamed up with Band of Climbers and it almost seems like a no-brainer because um, they just love climbing, obviously. That's what the whole brand is all about. And they've also got a few trips lined up this year, obviously like time permitting and race permitting. So this video, I guess, is about these two brands that have come on board. Band of Climbers being one of them to support the alternative calendar that I'm pursuing this year. So basically the hill climb stuff so um, that involves the British hill climb scene which is starting a lot earlier this year it's not just kind of gonna be at the end of the year like in September October that it usually is this is a really nice um, like bomber style uh, just long sleeve really nice I love the color by the way like the, the camo the khaki it's really nice and uh, they've also sent me a, a jersey so this is the jersey it's a uh, long sleeve. It's uh, it's called the Thermal Ascent. It's got Together We Climb on the inside. That's really nice. Um, but yeah, it's like super fleece lined. It's a really nice material. It's actually got like a zip pocket as well, which is ideal for me to carry my um, my GoPro in or something. It is probably like I've worn this in like two degrees with one base layer. But they've come on board and they've been very supportive already you know we've we've teamed up uh we teamed up near the end of last year talking about things and how we can get things going there's going to be um the skin suit which i'll put on the screen right now this is going to be the british hill climb championship stripes skin suit whatever the heck you want to call it i've gone for black because i've always I've always liked black kit. I've always raced in black kit. Like when we raced for GLT Condo, the men in black were known as. I just loved it. It was just so min like the minimalist approach has always like worked for me. Like I just love the love black kit. Um, the idea of having uh, for me anyway, like I'd like to have because when I won the National Hill Climb Championship, I didn't get like a stripey jersey. I didn't get a National Championship jersey, so um, maybe working with them to get. Um, something with like little bands on the arm I can wear forever and ever um, down to the cafe, which would be really nice. But Band of Climbers are, are super, like, super cool on Instagram. If you haven't checked them out yet, go and check them out. They are worth just waking up every morning and see their their motivational pictures of just seeing massive alpine climbs that people have taken pictures of and they've just shared them. Um, at least for me, it's very motivational in a way because I'm like, yeah, I want to climb those. Those climbs are like, yes. Like, I want to climb to like 3,000 meters above sea level. Get me to those hills right now. That's Panda Climbers. Um, I'm off to Calpe with them in the end of March. So I'm very excited about that. So so this kind of kit, the Panda Climbers kit and the, the apparel I'm going to be wearing when I do the alternative calendar, when I'm you know, traveling to events to do alternative calendar stuff. Um, so you'll kind of know where which mode I'm in, whether I'm in, you know, St. Perrin racing mode or whether I'm in alternative calendar. This is me in this mode, going to do some hill climbing, epic stuff. And then last, but by no means least, uh, I want to introduce to you, um, another brand that I'm really happy to work with this year. And somebody actually very local to me introduced me to them uh, because he had um, the helmet made for him. And these are, I think the world's first, these are, I think I'm right in saying, the world's first custom fit cycling helmet. I went I went to London to have my head scan for one of these things. Um, Whack the, the cap on. Yeah, I've seen that. I went to London to have my head scan for one of these things and uh, Hexa make the helmets. They are 
probably one of the coolest bits of tech I've seen in terms of you know, going down the safety route. I've I've kind of gone uh, this year. I've kind of gone down that safety route um, without even realizing it. Like I've teamed up with Light Lock to try and bring awareness to that brand, um, Bike Lock brand, by the way, which uh, which appears very near me as well. I've also teamed up with Shockbox as well, so they'll be transporting my bike um, to races and events around the world. But the the Hexa lid got me very interested when I first when I first saw it. And um, you can get two shells because these are interchangeable, the top shell. So it's just a simple case of, if you see that bit right there, actually just like pops out this little small bit. And then the cover comes off. So you can change it for a white cover. So far I've just got white and black. This itself weighs 100 grams. I know it's a fair weight, but if you're looking for aerodynamics, it is aerodynamic. This helmet is aerodynamic. I've got something here. They've tested it in the um, in the wind tunnel with it's tested over 40 kilometers. Tested by total it's tested by total sim over 40 kilometers. I'm not sure the speeds and things like that, but you have Hexa against the Giro Vanquish, the Pock Ventral, the Cast Proton, which I have. Um, it's 20 seconds faster over a 40k time trial than the Cast Proton. Um, but that's obviously with the shell on without the shell it's this absolutely crazy looking piece of technology which um which basically saves you noggin from uh, from from anything i suppose but it i love the honeycomb effect honeycomb structure is supposed to be one of the strongest structures the fact that like this helmet obviously safety number one priority but the fit of it because it's custom fitted because it scans your head and i have something like what was it four and a half thousand skittles that i could get in my head apparently um but the actual helmet itself i look super rad like this but the actual helmet itself fits like a glove there's, there's no movement at all on my head whatsoever and that's without the the bracket that you can actually it comes in the box you can fit the bracket as well if you want to um, but honestly you don't need to um, it really doesn't need it and then you can have like a custom message which I have right there I don't know if you can see it so I've got KOM there and then on this side we have Hexa and then we have some details uh, on the back things like um, so some details there like your your head size there's also um a discount code for 25 pound off this helmet if you want to you can contact me you know my email address you know me on social media get in touch if you want to buy one of these helmets and get a discount off me you can do so and it also tells you when it was made because these helmets will last you for 10 years and the big thing about helmets that we don't get told supposed to be replaced every couple of years uh, something that they don't tell you because the actual material breaks down and what I learned is that this material which is 100% renewable material hashtag sustainable planet um, is actually made from castor beans so that's it I don't want to plug the brands any more than I have already uh, because you can check them out as they are both of them both Hexa and Bandit Climbers very active on Instagram um, you can go and check them out there. There's a lot of cool stuff they're posting, you know, both informative and just, you know, completely rad pictures. So um, go check them out, give them some love, tell them I sent you. And uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to like, you know, wearing this. It weighs like 200 grams, like absolutely nothing. Like I'm looking forward to wearing this um, up like Sac Lobra, up like Alpe d'Huez, all these big climbs, being well vented, being light and obviously being safe but also like just having this because obviously in the uk i don't have to wear a helmet when i do hill climb events but um i feel like i feel like for this alternative calendar now things are coming together things are taking shape and i have this 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 group of you know support network that really want to see you know what i can do and what I can push myself to achieve and also share the message with you guys you know it's it's all about can we do this and then what can you learn from it and if we take people along and bring a message along with us then 
all the better. But for now, we're just gonna have fun, soak up our training, make sure our preparation is dialed because next week, and I'll get into it more in a, in a later video, next week we have our first um, race, which will be the Binye, which will be the Binye 10 mile time trial, which takes place not that far away um, in resolving. Uh, so far, the wind's not playing ball. It might be a windy one, but um, this will be its first outing, actually. We'll put the put the cover on it, make it super aero, and uh, go and smash it on the roll bike and see what time I can do. So if you can't wait to see me do these rad things, well, I hope they're gonna be rad or they're gonna be absolutely abysmal failures, then uh, please hit that like button, please subscribe, share it with your friends, just one friend. That's all I ask for and uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you soon.